area forecast discussion from the National Weather Service of Bismarck, North Dakota, 3.28 p.m. Central Standard Time, Monday, November 6, 20, November 7, 2022. Winter weather will continue across the much of central and western North Dakota this afternoon, while windy conditions will continue across the southwest. Broad troughing over the western continental United States has led to a southwest flow aloft across the northern plains. A weak impulse with warm advection is causing widespread snow across the state. Snow will continue lifting from the south across much of the central and northern portions of the state. Observed snow accumulations are around an inch, having made roadways slippery and slick. Lift from the warm advection has prevented 60-kilometer jet max at 850 MB, that's 5,000 feet above the surface, from mixing down to the surface. Wind advisory is still in effect as advisory level winds continue across the southwest. Lowered high temperatures to match current observations and accumulating snow should also keep temperatures below freezing. Overnight lows will remain in the upper teens to the mid-20s. Tomorrow's high temperatures are forecast to warm above freezing across central and eastern parts of the state. However, the western portion of the state could struggle to reach freezing tomorrow afternoon. Overcast skies will linger as southwesterly flow aloft persists through tomorrow. Some light snow can enter western portions of the state tomorrow evening. As an upper low begins to progress westward, more winter weather ahead in the long term. Here we go. This is tremendous interest over here. Long term, Tuesday night through Monday, issued 3.28 p.m. Central Standard Time, Monday, November 7th, 2022. The National Weather Service from Bismarck, North Dakota. Key messages. Confidence remains high that a significant winter storm with possible blizzard conditions will impact the region late this week, even though details of how far north and west the heaviest snowfall remain more uncertain. A winter storm watch has been issued for all of southwestern and south-central North Dakota and the James River Valley from late Wednesday night through Friday morning. We expect a strengthening upper level trough to eject from the Rocky Mountains region into the northern plains on Thursday with all of the ensemble cores, the GEFS, the ECM, and the CMC ensembles on animously calling for development of strong low pressure, including closed lows aloft across the region. The scenario reflects a classic Colorado low with strong large-scale ascent and moisture advection resulting in heavy precipitation and ultimately development of a significant deformation zone that pivots with the low aloft and results in an axis of heavy snow on the northern and western sides of the system. Thus, it's the location of the strong low and its related axis of strongest forcing that would dictate the heaviest snowfall totals, and there are subtle but important differences among the ensembles yet with where that will be. This will also determine where a gradient in snowfall occurs with northwest extent. In general, today's global ensembles remain relatively steadfast with the European Computer Medium Weather Forecast Ensemble members generally favoring a bit further northwest extent of heavy snowfall and both the GEFS and Canadian ensembles favoring a slightly further southeast axis of heaviest snowfall. Minor cycle-to-cycle oscillations with these details will likely continue the next day or two, though considering the full global ensemble membership, the probability of 6 to 12 inches of snow is maximized at around 70% along a line from Fort Yates and Linton to Jamestown and is in the 40 to 60% range as far northwest as a line from Bauman to Dickinson and Harvey, which includes the Bismarck and Mandan area. The possibility of warning criteria snowfall drops off to the northwest, though again some ensemble members suggest one potential outcome includes heavy snowfall extending as far northwest as the beach, Kildeer, and rugby areas. We chose to issue a winter storm watch with the probability of receiving six six inches or more of snow is roughly 50% and greater, though some adjustments in watch extent may become necessary in later forecast updates. Given the nature of the thermal and moisture advection and synaptic scale structure of this system, it's plausible that whatever areas end up in the pivoting axis of the deformation zone, 
the longest, may locally get 12 to 18 inches of snow. However, the location of that axis is uncertain, and at this point in the forecast cycle, it's important to remember that specific point-based snowfall forecast amounts will likely change some. The strong surface flow associated with the system will yield strong winds, and the European computer model-based extreme forecast index continues to signal potential gusts of 50 miles per hour or more, which is further supported by mean 850 MB wind speeds forecasts on the order of 50 kilometers. As a result, blizzard conditions are possible in areas that receive heavy snow. Where timing of the winter storm is concerned, the onset of impacts is somewhat uncertain. With some model simulations suggesting snow may begin in earnest Wednesday night and others delaying it until Thursday morning. Either way, confidence is high in the worst of the storm being from the daytime Thursday through Friday morning. We do need to note that there remains some signal for storm preceding light snow in western and especially northwestern North Dakota, Wednesday and Wednesday evening with initial jet dynamics aloft too. Finally, two precipitation type issues come to mind. Number one, a low risk of freezing drizzle on Wednesday or Wednesday evening as background ascent gradually increases while dry air lingers aloft. And number two, the potential for parts of the James River Valley to have enough warm air aloft on Thursday for a mix of freezing rain or sleet to occur. The second concern would come to fruition if a further northwest track of the system comes to reality. So at this point, that's just a potential scenario to keep in mind as a possibility in those areas. In the wake of the storm system, well below normal temperatures are expected this weekend through early next week with forecast highs in the teens and 20s and lows possibly below zero some nights.